take it. Two legends in basketball analysis with over 70 years combined experience. This is the Bob Ryan and Jeff Goodman podcast. Hi, everybody. It's time for the Bob Ryan Gary Tangway pod here on CLNS Media. Media brought to you by Prize Picks, the exclusive daily fantasy partner of CLNS Media Network. Pick more, pick less with Prize Picks. Okay, the Caitlin Clark story has come to an end, Bob, but boy, what a difference she has made for the WNBA. The numbers are up all over the place. She's making money. I hope this is going to mean more money for other players. It really has been something to watch. It is a phenomenon. And, you know, and just in general terms about women's basketball, uh, I was introduced to it uh, big time at the in 92, at the, in the Dream Team, because in addition to covering – the, the men, I covered every the Dream Team game. Uh, I also covered the entire tournament for our women and uh, got introduced to the world of international women's basketball. And, and prior to that, the only real comp- connection I had had was locally. There was a tournament, I'm going to say 50 years ago in, at Northeastern and I, I uh, uh, of some schools, and, and I went and the, the play was embarrassing, was primitive. And one of the funny things about it was you never saw so many jump balls. And the reason was the ball handling was so bad. Right. And, and then they were diving on the floor for the ball that was always out there. It was, you never saw so many loose balls and it, it was, it was, it wasn't very good, but by the time I came around in 92, you were looking at good players. You were looking at good basketball. And, and I observed that no sport has come farther in a shorter period of time than women's basketball. Well, that was in 1992, and we've come exponentially farther since then, in terms of the the, the breadth of talent, that not and the depth of the talent in worldwide, and and so uh, the and and I I really was enlightened uh, a number of years ago. I was in L.A. during the finals, I guess it was, and um, the women were playing as well. The and and I went to a game, and I'm sitting in the first row, and I'm feeling, you could feel the the energy. You know, the, the pace was really good. I said, I was dazzled by, you know, what, what I was seeing. I remember I went to the game because Michael Cooper was coaching against against Bill Lambeer. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, uh, this sport has come so, so far since, you know, and, and it's a tribute to so many people. But uh, it still was under off the radar for you know, the average American sports fan. You know, it, it still was true that, that for the most part, women's basketball uh, devotees, you know, were, were uh, husbands, fathers, and brothers, and uncles, and neighbors, you know, and and not really uh, Joe average fan, and and that's changing so rapidly now. And and but the big boost, this Caitlin Clark phenomenon, and and it, it's absolutely amazing uh, what what, what uh, her presence has done for the game, and 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 exposing us people. To, oh, by the way, how there's all these other great players, and not really fine players that you didn't know anything about. Now you do. Totally. And so, um, you know, let's congratulate Aja Wilson for becoming a unanimous MVP, for example, our third one. And you know, people are being exposed to the Aja Wilsons of the world, and 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 that, and that's and that's really. And really people cool. feel Kelsey Mitchell Mitchell is the best player on the Indiana team. Yeah, right. But you know, we see that because of Caitlin Clark. Major Boston, and then so and so, yeah. Um, but it's it's a true so but meanwhile it, it's no question that this phenomenon and uh, now the rivalry with Angel Reese, which unfortunately has take had to you know right. got mired in racial overtones, which is just despicable. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it's also you'd be pretty naive and un, uh, to, to deny that that the Caitlin Clark being white doesn't you know bring fans that uh, sadly that wouldn't have been there otherwise. I mean, that's stupid. You can't deny it. But but it, it, you don't want that to be the focus of her of, of any rivalry with with uh, Angel Reese. Uh, people are, are equating it to Bird and Magic, you know, and and and, and, right. and in more sense and, and to a degree, yeah, you know that you can you can draw that parallel, you know, uh, uh, for sure. But uh, anyway, with Caitlin Clark, is her presence uh, has, has put a focus on the WNBA. Well, to watch the game, you said it, okay. To to talk about the product. To watch the game if you're a basketball fan is enjoyable. Yes. It's enjoyable. Okay. Now, if you look at ticket prices, Bob, and 20 bucks can get you in. I mean, I just looked online. Maybe they've gone up. I'm sure they've gone up. Okay. But it's not three, four, five hundred dollars 
to take two people to a Celtics game. No, but they are going. They are going. Are They're, going to go up. There's a very enlightening story in today's. It's in, in the Athletic, which means the New York Times. This is where I read it. Right. Sports yeah. Uh, that that's going to be part of the deal, though. Now the people, you know, the, as the need to make more money and and the idea that they will raise these ticket prices. But meanwhile, it's still relatively affordable compared to you know compared to the yeah. the, the, the men and the game itself. I said a long time ago, 10, 15 years ago, that it's the men's game of 30 years ago. Right. It's not going to be played in the air. If that's your big passion, okay, sorry. You're not going to have the 50-foot alley-oops. You're not going to have the, the, it played in the air. That's not the way it's played. But it's fundamentally a, 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 the way basketball used to be played and is and, and by the men and, and is still being played nicely by the women. Yes. Um, yeah. And, of course, the, the shooting is, is good, the, 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 the fast break. Fast breaks the great. I mean, no, the game, the product is a very enjoyable product, and and uh, uh, and and it's it's only going to get better because I mean this inspiration that Caitlin Clark and, and company have had for these young girls in America. There's going to be you know this there's not going to be any turning back. Prize Picks is America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over five million active members. All you do is you pick more or less on two to six player stat projections, and you just watch those winnings roll right in. You can win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. Want to play prize picks alongside Drewski, Joe Budden, and MMA champ Sean Sugar O'Malley? You can now find community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entries from some of the biggest names in the prize picks community each week. So this is how it works, okay? So you just pick more or less. So Aaron Rodgers, I got to pick, he's going to throw more than 325 passing yards. How about that this week? Aaron Rodgers to throw more than 325 passing yards or less. Travis Kelsey, less in 100 yard in receptions. That easy. Download the Price Picks app today. Use code CLNS and get $50 instantly when you play $5. That's code CLNS on Price Picks to get $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Price Picks, run your game. And I also think that the reason Caitlin Clark became so popular, I think, in the college game, it was a time when the men's college game really is suffering. Well, yeah, that that is going through this, and how to what extent the women are going to be affected by this compared to the men? You know, with the NIL and the transfer stuff, right? They, it, it's all it's all sitting there, and women are making money. <laughs> I don't know that the transfer portal is is as I, I, yeah. I think it's going to hurt men more. I I don't know. It just seemed to me. People want to root for somebody, you know, they want to root for a team, you know, they want to, they, they want to become accustomed to a roster. They want to, they want familiarity with their team. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and Caitlin's team was very familiar. I mean, yeah. the timing, I mean, look, UConn won back-to-back -back championships with, with a different roster. Uh, right. Right. right? right. And, you know, so there's no familiarity for the fans. No, no, it's it's a, the, the fan experience. Because we broaden this discussion, the fan experience is different. Is changing, people are going to have to adapt because it's not going to go back. It's not going to go back. The, the, uh, there, there might be wonderful, and it, these will be stories that'll be you know nice little juicy subplot stories for some writers some down the road about oh you know here's a guy that started out as a freshman and he was averaging four points a game and now he's a senior. And he's a possible first round draft pick, you know. Well, those those stories used to abound. Well, you know, they don't exist right now because right. You, you, that, that is very very rare. But uh, the women, you might you might still have that coming with the women. You know, I don't know that there's going to be the wholesale upheaval of rosters that right. are, are now experiencing. We'll see. You know. Well, um, I could tell you this as a girl dad, and. Um, my weekend consisted of approximately 14 hours of either field hockey or lacrosse. Uh -huh. I can tell you that the endorsement money for the women will will be there. And I think Caitlin set the table. She got the $30 million from Nike. And a lot of young women play basketball. They play, and it's kind of and it's not just going to be basketball. But, you know, if they're smart, you know, um, it's going to go to other areas. It's going to go to training shoes and so forth. I mean, 
you know, I could tell you in my in my family, my kids not only play sports, but they train and they go to these different gyms and they get these different routines and so forth. <laughs> and I need training shoes and I need basketball shoes and I need, you know, they're probably taking me to the cleaners, Bob. You know, what can I say? <laughs> but I'm, what I'm saying is that, you know, for the women and and not just Caitlin Clark, but for the women in general, I think there's going to be more endorsement money. Uh -huh. And that's where the real money is. Even with the, I mean, look, Jordan retired. I mean, he's a billionaire because of Nike, not because of the Bulls. No, no question. No, I understand. I mean, already though, just the, the fallout uh, from other sports, uh, two other sports for, that I forget the name of the gymnast, but this, 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 this making more. Oh, money. sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Little stuck to get her name. I'm sorry. I apologize, folks, but I can't remember her name. But I know there's some gymnasts out there breaking it in big time, and uh, uh, you know, and there are states and areas where other women's sports are. Different sports are more popular, so oh, it's great, it's good. But uh, but in terms of back to you know the whole thing with the WNBA, uh, it, it it it's it's really a, a, a heartening thing. I, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for everybody. And uh, now and and by the way, uh, they're, they're going to expand. Simone three, Biles. Three, Simone three, Biles is who you're speaking of. Three three new teams in two years. You know we're going to have we're going to have a team in in the Bay Area. The Valkyries, I love that. The Valkyries, and we're going to have Toronto, which is unnicknamed yet, and of course Portland is coming in in, in 26 as well. So uh, it is expanding. And the thing is, it's needed because making a WNBA in the context of their world is a lot harder than making the NBA or making it because right. they the job the players are out there and the, the jobs aren't. And it is it, it you just it's uh but now there's going to be more opportunity and more and that's going to be great. Look, there's nothing like seeing a game live. I mean, watching it on TV is great. We have all the technology. We have our phones. We have access to everything. But being there in person is definitely the way to go. Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. For example, coming up in October, $147 to see the Dolphins at New England. That's a good deal, folks. That's an AFC each grudge match. Also, great deals on BC tickets, Boston College tickets, as they're headed in the right direction over at the Heights. Curated deals make it easier to find the best price on great seats. You got the super deal. Seat views before you buy. Lowest price guarantee, even cancellation protection, job loss protection. They've got so many different angles for you. Game time picks. Curation makes it easier for you to save more on sports, concerts, comedy, and theater. You could toggle along with all-in pricing. The feature shows the total up front with no surprise fees at checkout. Plus, you can see you get a great view from your seat. Get a panoramic view from the seats that you're about to buy. You don't have to buy them, and you see you get the view, so you know you know what you're getting. Lowest price guarantee or game time will credit you 110% of the difference. Your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CLNS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? It's Game Time. All right, Bob, let's segue into some other NBA news. Oh, by the way. I, I wanted to ask you this. Who was the first female basketball player? Was it uh, that that you remember that came on big? Well, that... you uh, you know you had the oh, I used to know her name for sure. The the the, the, the uh, stunt that the, the Warriors played when they drafted uh, right Iowa. Yeah, Ann Myers, Nancy Myers. No, no, no. This, she she was legit um, from UCLA. Ann Myers certainly would be would be one uh, for sure. Uh, 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 Carol uh, Blake, uh, Carol Blazjowski for sure. Uh, and uh, 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 Nancy Lieberman. These, I mean, Nancy Lieberman Klein. These are the real pioneers. So you know that really uh, put it over the map. And and Ann Myers, that group right there. Uh, the original the seventy six, the first year the, the women were in the Olympics. That original group, and Ann Myers was the star of that, but but yeah. uh, Carol's place, yeah, there's three names for sure. I'll throw you out there right now, uh, you know, and uh, so they they they're the they're the, the they're the Billie Jean Kings of the deal, you know, right? Of the yeah, yeah, okay. and and then of course the '96 team was awesome, and, and they were undefeated. They played over 60 games in, in preparation, 
and then and saved their best for last. They pounded Brazil in the finals, and uh, that group was was terrific. And uh, uh, you know, I tell you, who uh, I still don't think there's a better point guard maybe in the league than Dylan Staley was, and Lisa Leslie, great great pivot player. Uh, you know, they they set the standard that uh, they're now you know trying to reach. So that's it. But I'll give the name answer your question. The three names that jump out at me, right, with Ann Myers, Carol Blaisdowski, and, and Nancy Lieberman Klein later. Um, okay, now we can segue to this. Uh Joel Embiid is gonna be in Philadelphia till he's 30 anyway. I wasn't well, so sure that was gonna happen, but he signed an I mean, who can turn down uh, an extra $193 million yeah. for 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 an extension? Um I guess when it comes to the money, no one can turn to turn. We, we, we're we very unfair with players. You know, we think, oh, you know, it's not just about the money. Will he go and try to win somewhere else? Well, you know, when you have his health history, it is going to be about the money and security. He uh, is an interesting case here because we know he's good, very good, uh, uh, has been an MVP, uh, is a beautiful scorer. He absolutely is a contest. He had a game in the 22-23 season when he hit the Celtics with like 52. And and I, I raved about how effortless and, and versatile it was and how smooth and good looking it was. And I, and I got hooted down by some people because they didn't want to acknowledge it, you know, that he had done this to the Celtics, you know, that he had. Um, but the thing about him that everybody knows, it's keeping him in the lineup. And this past year, he played 39 games. Oh, he averaged 34 points a game. He averaged, he played 39 games, not even half a season. Uh, he has never played more than 68 games in an 82 game season. And yet he's, we, you know, the, here's the yeah, but with him in terms of paying him, you know, is he around when you need him in the spring, you know, and, and the answer in the past had been not necessarily. So, you know, he will be 31 in March. Uh, is there any indication that he is going to stop getting hurt? I mean, not, you know, I mean, this is a tremendous risky investment, don't you? In that regard. It's not that he isn't good. We know that he's damn good. And and he's a good ambassador, too. He's funny. You know, he's, he's controversial. He's funny. You know, he's, 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 a, he's a public person. Right. He's, he's, he's exing or is Instagramming and all this stuff. You know, he, he's, he's willing to get engaged. So he's a guy that people can, can uh, follow and, and enjoy or, you know, or, or not enjoy, you know, but the, the, he, you know he's around. So I wish him well, and I like watching him play. And, uh, you know, be nice with one of these years, though. He could play at least 70 games. <laughs> You're right. I wonder if Philly just feels they need to keep that one guy there to keep fans interested, to sell tickets. I don't know. But when we see what the Celtics are going to be sold for, oh. the $193 million is not a lot of money. <laughs> I know. When, we, when we're talking that, you know, that it's a minimum of $6 billion they're going to be, you're going to need to pony up to get the Celtics. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I by the way, uh, as an aside, I hope that Steve Kalyuka is the guy that can round up this, the, the the money bags and get it done. I I I just don't want to see some outsider that come in and that we wouldn't know anything about it, we couldn't trust. Uh, I, I'm rooting for Pags, but that's a lot of dough. You know, I understand, but uh, you know, there's there always seem to be somebody out there. You know, some some rich guy that. that well, wants Pags, to I mean, Pags wants to win. There's no doubt about that. So I agree with you 100. percent all right, Bob, that'll do it for this edition of Bob Ryan and Gary Tangway, our podcast. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, Bob, let me just get our wonderful sponsor in here, brought to you by Prize Picks, the exclusive daily fantasy partner of CLNS Media Network. Pick more, pick less with Prize Picks. See you next time, Bob. Very good. <laughs> <laughs>